In this video, I will show you how to customize sales report by sales rep in New QuickBooks Online. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a custom field assigned for sales rep. So, let's open one invoice here. As you can see here, this is open invoice form here, and uh, I have a sales rep custom field assigned in here. And if you haven't done it, you will need to go go to uh, company gear right here and do the set select the settings here. company gear and company settings and it's under sales so settings company gear settings sales and the custom field as you can see here I have uh, they give you three uh, custom fields and I'm using one for pure the other one for sales rep the other one is still open so they have internal and public so if you want to print or make it public your sales rep you will select this or if you want to, if you don't want to do it then you just uncheck this so in this case I want to uh, so sales rep public all right let's save this and go back to uh, invoice right here right here is a sales rep and same thing also apply to sales receipt if you're using sales receipt so as you can see your sales rep is right here so in this case we just want to create invoice let's say we want to create invoice for uh, let's say into it and you want to sell something in here let's say Apple iPhone for $549.99 and let's say you have a sales rep uh, Andy okay so basically if you want to go back and look at it so the, the customer is in tipped and the product is right here and if the sales is assigned to the sales rep Andy guy right here and if you have a purchase order or sales order from this company, you will assign it here like this and save it. So now the question is where do I see this sales report by sales rep? So you go to uh, reports here. So this is your blue navigation bar on the left side. Click reports. Although there is no standard QuickBooks Online report for a sales report by sales, you will have to customize it. The report you want to select is sales by customer summary. Sales, so if you, want, if you, type, if you just type sales, you will see all the uh, sales reports on the drop down here. Sales by customer summary. So this is the report you want to select all right so this gives you the total sales for for all sales rep so in this example I have three uh, sales reps Joe Andy and Chris so if you click it here you will see everything in all the sales detail here but it will still won't see anything for uh, by sales rep so in order to get the sales rep, you just have to customize back to sales here with the total here is a summary. And you still need to customize the sales rep here. So here's your change column. This is the one you want to click. And sales rep is right here. Sales rep. You just need to add sales rep. That's from your custom field, sales rep, add sales rep. You can change the order any way you want it. So click OK, run report. Now you have a sales rep added in a separate column in here. So, so as you can see here, it's all sales rep. They are all here now. The so total is still the same.
will still the same. So, but you need to uh, run sales report by by individual sales rep here. So, in order to do that, you still need to further customize this report. So, customize, and then you need to select mats. So, it's basically sales rep here. Let's say you just want to run sales rep and is sales. Just pick that one. So this is all and is sales for uh, for May here. It's five thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollars ninety-eight cents. And let's say if you want to match this number with uh, the, at the su at the top summary level, you still have to go back and uh, sales report, sales by customer summary, and this is for the whole company and. We just want to match Andy in here. As you can see here, So here is Andy's sales. It's a detailed report here. And it's at the summary level. So this would match $5,774.98 as of uh, this month. This is for the current month only. And here's the total here. So it comes from three different customers. So now it says transaction report and you don't like that title so all you have to do is change the title so let's go back to uh, the uh, customize report here title here just change this and let's say right here this one you just you can just change anything you want here anywhere you want it so let's say you want to change the title to sales report detail uh, let's say this is randy run report now this report is randy's sales and you can also do the same thing in here sales report customer summary and all you have to do is select this match and is Andy in here and summary for Andy. So here's your title your sales by customer summary for Andy. The only one is sales report detail for Andy. And in your sales report, it should include transaction type like invoice sales receipt credit memo and uh, if you have a sales receipt refund it will just say refund in here so it's basically invoice sales receipt and credits so you don't want to change the sales report title all the time every, 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 every month when you run this report so you can further customize it and make it like a memorized report so if you just click sales save customization right here so now you can say sales report detail for Andy and you can add this report is for let's say it's for Andy only so just add Andy right here and click OK so this is customize save report here so memorize 
before. And you can do the same thing for this one, save, customize, and right here, and in here, you select Andy because we already created Andy, like this one. So next time, we just want to run this report. So all we have to do is uh, click reports, right here, reports, at the summary level or whatever, just click reports, and you will see my custom reports in here my custom report as you can see here for andy you have two memorized report sales by customer support for summary for andy sales report for andy detail one so all you have to do is click this one you will see all the sales detail and next month all you have to do is it's custom you just change the uh, transaction date you just have to change the transaction date and then you're all set so you basically go to reports and my custom reports click this one and as you can see here Andy sales report you have two reports in here and uh, you can export to Excel uh, you can make it group or you can just send email as well from here you all we have to do is email right here you can just see email to support to Andy just email right here detail right here so every email and so if you just want to calculate uh, commission for this sales you still need to download this to uh, Excel or just compute from here. It won't automatically compute commission from this report. So you should have to manually compute commission based on this. So 5,774.98 and if you want to compute commission, you can do so. And also, this is the uh, sales report. You, you invoiced it, it's possible. Customer hasn't paid it. So if your sales commission is based on invoices paid, then you have to do a few other customization here. So in here, as you can see here, it's accrual and cash basis. So if you just click cash basis, it will give you all the invoices paid as of that date, right here. So you have to customize it again, accrual, is all invoices incurred here and if you want to pay commission based on cash basis or when the invoice is paid by customer you just click the cash basis right here and and in this case it's more invoices you will see the time difference so if you click it here you will still see all the details here Right here. So in this case, you have more invoices paid in May. So customize cash or accrual basis. So run report like this. And uh, so if you want to run the uh, your memorized report, somewhere right here. Five thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollars ninety-eight cents. Detail does match. So, uh, so that's how you have to uh, uh, customize sales by customer summary report. And uh, if you have any questions, please visit our website here. This is newqbo.com. Newqbo.com. So that's our website. So if you want to learn about new QuickBooks online, this is a great resource. And if you have any questions, all you have to do is newqbo.com forward slash ask. Ask forward slash ask. See right here, newqbo.com forward slash ask. Thank you for watching this video. Please come back again. Thank you.